can we can have different situations when it comes to compare lists. Maybe we have to report generated from two different sources or may, we may have a database and a different report coming in every now and then and maybe we want to know what is let's imagine uh, lists of names customer names for example but what what are the names that are in one list that are not in the other one could be one of the circumstances another circumstance is what are the names that are, that are common to common to both lists, so they exist in both lists. That's another situation that can happen. Or uh, maybe we, uh, we want to keep all the names in one of the lists and find the related information existing in the other table for those names that we have in the first list. So we are going to see how we can address these different types of situations, these different situations, these different requests. And for that, what we will use is a tool called Merge, so Merge Queries, Merging. Uh, it exists in Power Query inside Excel, and that's the tool we are going to use today. Uh, in some circumstances, and probably in most, in, in all of them, uh, you, you might be able to address the same request using Excel formulas, for example. The big thing about Power Query is that when we create a query with Power Query, the process is repeatable. So every time we make changes, every time we have a new report coming in with updated data, we just need to run the report, click a but one button, and, and that's it. And we will get, if we set up everything correctly, if nothing different happened with our data, then no, no different, nothing changed with the columns, so the structure is the same then we are good to go. And that's the purpose here, is to learn how we can make our reports easy to reproduce every time we need to run them again.